In this video, we provide the solution to question number 13 for practice exam one for Math 1050. We are given the one-to-one -one function f of x equals negative three x minus four all over x minus two. Uh, you don't have to prove it's one-to-one, -one, you can assume it. We wanna compute the algebraic formula for the inverse function of f right here. Now remember the idea about the inverse function here, that you have your function f that's given. In terms of its graph, um, the f of x is just the y coordinate. So this formula for f gives us y equals negative three x minus four over x minus two. Now as we switch to the inverse function, we switch the roles of x and y. Therefore the y variable becomes an x and the x variables become y's. So we get negative three y minus four over y minus two like so. Now what our goal is, is we need to solve for the y coordinate because that'll give us the formula for f inverse of x. Um, we have two y's in play here. One's in the, in the numerator, one's in the denominator. We need to get them together. And so the first thing we're gonna do is clear the denominators. They can't be combined together if one's in the denominator, one's in the numerator. So we times both sides by y minus two, that cancels in on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, we get x times y minus two. I'm gonna go ahead and distribute that x there. So we get x, y minus two x. And then that's gonna equal the right-hand side, which is now three y minus four like so. Our goal is to combine together the y's. We have a y right here and we have a y right here. So I'm gonna move things from one side of the equation to the other. The negative three y will move to the left-hand side by adding three y to both sides. The negative two x will move to the right-hand side by adding two x to both sides. That gives us something like x y plus three y is equal to two x minus four, like so. Now you'll notice because of how we organize things, there is a multiple of y on the left-hand side. In fact, everything's a multiple of y. We have x, y, and we have three y. We can factor the y out, giving us a y times x plus three, and this is equal to two x minus four. And so we wanted to solve for y, that was our goal. So to do that, divide by the coefficient of y, which in this case is x plus three, so they cancel out, but what's good for the goose is good for the gander. We have to do the same thing that we did to the left-hand side, we have to do that to the right-hand side. So you get this x plus three over here. And so in the end, we end up with y is equal to two x minus four over x plus three. This gives us the formula for f inverse, but a common mistake that students make is they stop right here. If I just put a cute little box around here, I haven't yet answered the question. The question is what is f inverse of x? You didn't tell me what f inverse of x is, so we need to make sure we are specific in our labeling. We're saying that f inverse of x is this formula right here. Um, if you just leave it as a y, uh, we've kind of overloaded the meaning of y in this context, right? There's a y here, there's a y later on. You need to be very explicit. Don't leave anything up to the imagination here. When you're trying to prove that you know something, say it so that, um, so that this is known. So you do need to write f inverse of x is, in this case, 2x minus 4 over x plus 3.